A chance for South American team to be able to place the highest it's ever placed at a uh, Valve Major. Personally, I'm kind of just interested to see what Matthew can do on it. He's been a standout player for this team the whole tournament, so I'm sure he has a really good idea of what he wants to accomplish, but... It's also a rough matchup into Beastmaster, right? Oh, might be an opportunity here. Pick off Soxa. They will manage to get that first blood. Now they're going to trade hits with 33. Really with the Chaos Strike, he's actually healing up so much. He's going to be able to win this man fight, perhaps. 33 pops another... one. Oh. He actually does. Because lives through it all. This man has been getting so much attention and most particularly praise from other pro players. Even early on, this Frost Shield doing some work. And yeah. again, that was 33 fighting off the back of all those stick charges. That's that Tundra itemization they try and win these early exchanges with. Oh, support's being brought in the mid lane, but Thunder Predator brings one more. Who's and bringing two, though? Nine? Oh, that spear back is going to do a lot of damage to Dark Mago. Now, it's still nine dying first, but Dark Mago, oh, he's going to go for the dive and commit to the kill. Snake King picks it up. Might net now, supports another one, though. And a Moo. He can go for the Sinister Gaze, pull him back into Matthew, and, and it looks like those right clicks are probably going to be enough. The Fate Bolt is what gets it, so they do trade two for one, ultimately. We've hit a really nice timing. They're still under leveled. So like, let's go force a team fight. A thousand percent. Uh, especially when you have such powerful ultimates that you can combo with, like this brutal top. He wants to. Oh, they're going to try and kill before he gets it off the split. And he does indeed fall out of the spear Mars combination. And uh, Thunder, they're going to be a bit too late to respond to Tundra. That's not going to feel good. That's a big blow. Because this Brewmaster, he. The way he can turn around that net worth differentials, get the return kill, or get a fight where his ult has insane early value. Dark Mago. Getting some damage on him. Now, this is a very tanky Mars. They're going to try and stop the spear. That's a really good toss down into the river. Now, he's going to spear him into the tower. So, really nice play there from nine. He's still under assault, though, as they're going to have the Brewmaster cut in. He says, remember me? You came to top lane to gank me, and I'm going to return the favor. They ensure the kill on nine, just because I think he wants to finish up this BKB. Now that he's got it, We'll see what they do as they and a actually haste. fight a haste and This is a dream opportunity, perhaps. This is a good go if they can chain stun it. Oh, use of the arena to keep everyone out while he knows he's being gone Phoenix on the premise. Crit, gonna be used. They're going to be able to throw out. Oh, they finished off the Phoenix already. A good jump in from Bacaz. They're going to be able to surround this Wraith King. Life number one is in jeopardy, and life number two could be Phoenix as well. Buyback. A stolen arena keeps him inside, and Tundra, they're going to uh, try and help him out here. Mortimer's Kiss is raining in. Bacaz stolen actually roar. taking a lot of damage. A stolen roar laid back into Skeeter. They're running out of damage, though. The Split because he's running away and the sun ray's gonna burn him down from snaking while Matthew does get stunned up, slowed down by Sox and 33. So it looks like he's gonna be finished off, but Sacred, he sees an opportunity. He's gonna be able to get the kill on 33. They turn to the egg. Dark Mago's there and they get the finishing blow. Skeeter on his last bit of help, but oh, the turnaround from Pandemu stands his ground and finishes off the carry before he dies. Sacred looks to be able to collect the kill on Sox that gets that one, two, nine. Did manage to chase down Dark Mago, but cannot stop the TP out from Sacred. What a brawl in the mid lane. They had the Deso on Skeeter, full Helm of the Overlord done for 33. Even Socks are bringing up some drums to amp that right click damage. Oh, that's, that's an interesting idea. Their physical ball is pretty strong for this part of the game. They're going to run into the perfect hero, too. They wanted to be able to gank because because who spear. throws out the Phantasm. The spear is going to be blocked out by an illusion, but there's just too many heroes here, I think, as he's surrounded by the arena. The supernova is going to be dropped as well. The stun's going to go down eventually. It'll stun both the Chaos Knight and Matthew's Rubik, killing them both. Now they're going to sweep in through the mid lane where you can see Soxa is already kind of setting up with Skeeter. Four man smoke from Tundra. Right. They're looking to flank around the north side. Man's thunder. Thunder as well. They, they the are hearing this. Dark Mago, he's going to be the first one in. Breaking the smoke, catching 33 right off the bat. Throws out the boat. Here. Gets off the primal split as well. They use the roar. They focus down 33, and he's dead before he can really do much at all. And they have the Wind Panda already on the Wraith King. Let's see who they focus down next. Snake King, he's going to be the next target. He does have the egg. He's going to pop it now. Dark Mago turns. Sacred turning back into his uh, hero form. But Dark Mago, he is stuck inside the arena. And Tundra kited out that BKB nicely. It looks like they caught the supports, waited out the BKB. KB of uh, Dark Mago. Nine just jumped on the back line, killed Matthew right off the bat. Felt like Makaz never even entered that fight. No. 
They don't find anything. They could probably just push out. There's our two carries. Skeeter on the left, because on the right. This is because BKB timing, so he is going to commit into this fight. It'll look a little different than last time. But they're still in ages. Tundra they're on the high ground. Egg. They've got everything ready to go. The Primal Split's going to go off first. They're going to focus on 33. Despite the ages, they want to be able to bring him down. Bakaz is going to do some short work of him in the first life. A and nice a beautiful Kane cross. cross is going to be able to bounce around. Heading towards Skeeter. Bakaz looks towards the back line. He's going to be able to bring down the Snapfire next. Matthew with a smart TP out away from 9. Who can't finish off the supports. But Bakaz needs some help with a second life of both Skeeter and 33. He gets demolished by the physical damage that starts ramping up. Thunder Predator. Mass TP's out. Sacred is not going to make it. He gets speared, so at least Nine was able to stop that one. And Matthew actually didn't make it out either. I think he TP'd to the tier two. Oh god, he can't get close. 95! Oh boy. Can't even read it, but he did get another hit in. And he's daring them to take this fight right now. That Thunder feel like this is their best time. Old. Cookie first, chain stun, no. Missed out, Skeeter, missed times that one. BKB goes off from Dark Mago. He starts laying some damage into the Wraith King. Summons are dead. Holds on to his first uh, BKB charge. He's gonna save that one for the second life. Actually, he's Pause gonna keep pack. that second life alive. Now, they do manage to catch Soxa. They're gonna try and get away from the egg, but the arena actually catching the two supports. That's perfect from nine. He's gonna use his BKB, throws everything he has. Both supports limping on a sliver of life, and Skeeter will come in and clean up the rest. Up because the caught up on the high ground here from a roar on 30. They actually decide to see if they could bail out their supports, perhaps not expecting the second egg either. Double damage on Skeeter, shredding the base here. Good use of the Hawks constantly in these fights as well. It was actually kind of interesting how he used it to stun all three of the primal splits as well. Brulings. Halbert for the last bit of DD that they had. Cookie being used. Nine facing the wrong direction. Don't know if that's the, the cookie board, he so wanted. He's kind of awkward. Uh, Boat's going to keep him down. And with that now, toss Skeeter up talk? in the air. Ooh, Skeeter. Really quick blink back by him. And he's got that BKB TP you're talking about. Nothing on the side of Thunder can stop that. I think Tundra can potentially just force the Roche to abuse the two Wraith King lives, the two eggs. Like, how does Thunder Awaken fight into that pit? Yeah. Seems impossible. Aghanim steps are complete for Kunkka, so we're going to have a very disruptive fight on our hands. It's going to lead off the, the Brumaz, potentially getting bursted down. The silence is still there. Can he get off the Primal Split? Denied by the Primal Roar. They chain the Disables. They do have a buyback on him. The Torn Storm is bouncing some people around here from Tundra. That's egg number one. 33 also going to be hit up here by Pakaz, who now has the Phantasm. Use the illusions to round 33. He's dead. He does have a buyback, though. Matthew looks to be able to catch Soxa. Does have a cookie. Gives over over to the Fire Panda. Fire Panda trying to catch up with the egg goes down first. And the cause in trouble. BKB, he runs out with the tornado out on the Skeeter. It'll allow Bakaz to disengage for now, but he's got to respect the Tundra power coming his way. He's going to have to crit some creeps again. 21 to 20, a 10,000 net worth lead for Tundra, but it feels like a, a relatively even match in the fact that it just comes down to this one fight. Thunder can here it is. take back the game. This They're going to go fight. ahead and run up. They're going to be able to catch Snaking. A the big kill like that with the stun silence combination and the primal split goes down to chasing nine out. Nine goes for the TP BKB. He does get away. And uh, Dark Mago's like, okay, well, that no longer have to buy the shard. That's going to be a freebie from Roshan and Aegis for Because. This is so interesting. Uh, Dark Mago is thinking about a refresher next. So he really wants to just keep focusing on the disable aspect and trust in Because. He's just running uphill. Yeah, I mean, it really is. It's got more K B. They're actually immediately nine. Blinks behind him to catch the support. Matthew's dead again. The egg buyback, right on though. top of things. Immediate buyback from Matthew. And you can see because he wants to be able to catch some of these heroes. Blinks in. Who does he go for? Immediately stunned silent. Of into trouble. Whoa, he almost gets bursted down on that first bit of Aegis life. And he does indeed. They do have the Sinister Gaze. They have the Wraith King in front here. Meanwhile, jump back from Snake King. Mortimer's Kisses. The two backline supports are egg. really helping out here. They do have the Tornado Tossed going for the Telekinesis toss back. But now he's run out of B. KB charges and bam gets taken out by nine a spear over on the panda moo doesn't quite finish him off they try and go for nine here but the bkb tp out once again is successful mass bkb teleport all, BKB. all around from tundra everybody's gonna get out tundra no there's no buyback on this clinka though so if they find him there is a there is that frost shield there is the toss back from rubik Dude, look how aggressive dark mago is he was showing in, in the mid the lane front. now he's in the front 
Immediately throws down a yes, current, finds Soxa, who does actually go forward. Now, let's see if Dark Mongo cannot be a key. Be. Oh, Pekaz is actually the one who's caught instead. Skeeter starts laying into him, and they control him up for the Primal Roar. That Bloodthorn just rips him apart. Meanwhile, Nine, once again, he has been Matthew's nemesis all game long with these arenas. BKB gonna go off from Dark Mongo, finishes off at least the Snapfire while they retreat away from this egg. Sacred's gonna refresh that Primal Split, but they do not have a buyback on because Tundra does not know that because it's from gold. In fact, he's incredibly close to having the buyback and they are gonna need every bit of power here as Tundra have collected the, uh, the refresher shard for a Wraith King. Everybody else has a refresher orb. They've got an Aegis and Cheese and they are gonna be going for that last lane of barracks. Also an Ags on this Sox, so he's shooting him in. He is shooting him in, <laughs> right Ooh. on top of the Brewmaster. What a beauty. The egg goes down him. as well, and they couldn't quite save him. He's going to be forced into a buyback now. Primal Roar, number one, on to Dark Mago. And Cookie going out, trying to get Skeeter outside of the base, outside of this Torrent Storm. First but he life. dies anyway. That's going to be life number one. They do have reinforcements coming in. Dark Mago, Aeon Disc, Ghost Bleed coming in as well. There's just a hot mess of stuns raining down in this one damn area, and everybody from Tundra is getting constantly Knocked Skeeter, up the air. Skeeter is getting chain stunned out. He dies again. Refresher shard being used. He's got another life to be able to work with. Nine as a BKB. He charges forward. Spears back in. Chaos Knight dies. He buys back immediately. Dark Mega with a dieback. Panda Moo can't escape either. He's dead. A buyback him. Pagaz runs forward now, using, focusing down nine. There's the second Primal Roar. He's pulled back immediately afterwards, though. Sinister Games, BKB, they try and burst him down. They know they don't have the damage, but the Wraith King instead. The Wraith Still King, has well, BKB. he had his Refresher Shard, so he had a second BKB to use as well. Yeah, I mean, they're Thunder. missing half their spells, but that still means they got about you know, <laughs> one and a half of them, so I think they're okay fighting here. That's true. And Thunder, they don't have all those buyback's to work with anymore, so. Hurricane him out. Back. Spear back as well. Dark Mago in some trouble. Eon Disc, BKB. Those both go out. And he starts casting spells. Nice telekinesis backwards there. An egg right in front of their faces with a supernova. They actually stole the, suit, the uh, Sunray as well. Trying to heal up the Kunkka for Zap. He does a refresh and Eon Disc goes down. Still starts alive. around those spells. Skeeter, he's going to go lose his first life. The chain stun going down on Nine as well. Nine may be falling right next to Skeeter. Immediately BKB. He blinks away. TP's out. Because, because on, on the hunt. He's got that. That basher, he sees Snake King thanks to the primal split. They had him waiting as the little cherry on top to a delicious oh, so dinner. Good. That was that team fight, 26 to eight, but Thunder hold on with one lane of barracks left. It feels like they really do have a better shot at being able to win this than the Dota Plus gives it them. They only give them 5%, but it feels better than that. Oh, another initiation with the Wraith King attempt. Blink forward nullify. straight over to Matthew, but the Nullifier's gonna free up the break off. down and the kiss is laid down. No primal roar for you, sir. Life number one of Skeeter as the Disables, he's actually getting pushed deeper into the base as well on this first life. Meanwhile, because Wasted Arena. Yeah, Wasted Arena. Illusions are run out. Skeeter does manage to get the blink away right after on the second life. They do actually use the Storm Panda, toss him up in the air, telekinesis, but a four staff gets him down. Now the Hawk chasing after some of these. Doesn't actually get the stun off and Tundra are okay with resetting here after all. Go. So he is finally putting it on himself. Why not? Hang out some physical Why damage. not? <laughs> <laughs> Think this man's going to save her buyback now? Yeah, probably not. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. None of his team has it. Look at the primal split running forward. I think he was doing a bit of de-warding or something. Um, He's got to be careful here, though. Yeah, they, they know. Okay, they spot Panda. Oh. Poor staff gets him out of the arena, fortunately. Why does it feel like these fights are so close, even though Thunder Awakens down 30,000 gold? Trying still Mark trying Mago. to get that ward. They are trying to force it so much. They have a nullifier to be able to deal with the Aeon Disc. Telekinesis down back. to the high ground or low ground. So that is going to be another save. Another Primal Split being used there from Sacred as well with the boat catching some of these heroes in the backside. 
They get a refresh, actually interrupts the Icarus dive away. Pandamu, he's gonna be target of Skeeter, looks to be able to two or three shot, but again, the telekinesis gets him out of there. The more no telekinesis for Funko now, again, though. And the refresher, used by Dark Mago. Primal Split, also gonna be popped for a second or third time. Primal Roar actually used on the bar. He was hunting the Rubik. The Torrent plays keep on coming in, and Skeeter is having such a hard time dealing with all of these disables. A telekinesis toss back, nine. He says, screw it, I'm gonna go for Knows Matthew, even target. if it cost me is my life. He goes in for it, blinks into the trees, TP's out. Matthew had no help whatsoever. On the other side of things, Sacred does manage to catch up to Soxa. So at least they do get a support trade off there. Suddenly Thunder Wake and they're grinding themselves back into this game. One scrappy fight at a time. Yeah, yeah, but Tundra is gonna be able to get another round of Roshan. I mean, those Hawks, not just the vision. Wait a minute, he got it. Oh no, he went Radiance. What? Structures That's not what I was expecting. This is the safe buyback and conservative play, but we'll see if it pays off. Sidem can still do a huge amount of work with the miss chance. Yeah, really good use of that pushback. Skeeter's pretty deep and here. And they get a disable on him before he blinks away. Sinister Gaze instantly being it's used. Raven's gonna go down. Oh. They also have the cookie trying to get him away. They're gonna start refreshing some of their abilities, but that's gonna be a second line down for the Wraith King. He blinks out into a torrent. Oh, straight to a torrent storm. Get now he's going to be pulled back in by Bacaz as well. He's in the ghost form, but he's also dead. The Mortimer's Kiss is chasing away Matthew. Couldn't find it. A torrent actually stops Soxa there, and they're going to be able to now start chasing down some heroes. The Primal Split going after nine. They couldn't actually finish up the egg. Snaking with a long dive away. Does manage to get pretty far. Refreshes, dives again. 33 blinks out. Oh, last second. Sacred. With the Find toss the up. plus one. Brew has been point on point all these fights. He had nine's number that fight, especially making sure his Rubik is protected. He swaps in the blink dagger, but it's still on cooldown, so he is not gonna have a chance at getting away. Thunder! Is this the first fight that we could say they cleanly won? This was a victory for sure. This Brewmaster ulti doing a huge amount on the back lines with Disruption. Again, he was messing with Nine that whole fight, so his Rubik had free reign. Yeah, look at this. This is after he's been pulled back in by the Tidal Wave. They try and bail him out with cookies and arenas. It's not good enough, and they're fighting into the Tidal Storm. They'll... Oh, no! Oh, no, no, no! I was just about to say they had the 60-minute marker coming up. Shearstone going over to Tundra. He's farming for the boys. Tundra sees They know. Him, they see him. He is out really far. He really, really is. He's going to go for it, but the Hawk! It stops the TP out. Now he's got no Fight way out of life. here. He doesn't have a TP. The Primal Roars are going to catch him. Oh, no. Dark Mago, what have you done? Bit by bit, they're gonna work him down here. He can refresh, he can re-BKB, but it's not gonna make a difference, I don't think. He's no got no blink out, his fighter aid. legs are coming out, but a second Primal Roar is gonna be used. And now, now they may be forced into some mass buybacks on the side of Thunder. Mirror Shield pickup for snaking, so forget about trying to target down this Phoenix. Even harder. Did you know Matthew actually stole Mortimer's kisses? So he's holding on to that That's right now. That's a decent spell. They Good see man. snaking here. They see snaking. They're going to hold that pair shield instantly to a Tundra want to turn. Yep, they're coming in. Knight's going to try and catch him instantly. Blink spear and no BKB going out. Because the same Tundra in again. Because needs some help. He needs some help from Matthew, but he's too busy using the kisses. He didn't get the telekinesis off. Knight has caught the two supports inside of the arena with the egg just outside. The primal roar going down. They're using everything they he can, but the Ice Armor and Arcanist Armor that is actually frost shield. alive with the Frost and the Coco's Rum as well, Fancy but eventually no the Lake dies, eventually the Matthew falls, they are going to come back with their buybacks, yes, yeah, Sacred's going to try and keep them here, but does Thunder, Thunder really want to go outside, they're going to gonna go for it, because he jumps forward, trying to finish him off, nice stun from Soxa, 9 with a big heal off from the Life Seal, use the Abyssal Blade on to Skeeter, he has to stay away from Skeeter as much as possible, Pandamu in some trouble, caught by the Hawk, stun goes down, they 
see him. There goes a tight away, but BKB re-entry by Skeeter as he chases down. That's a dieback on one. A dieback on two. Both supports are dead. Skeeter looking to be able to end the game. A refresh out from Dark Mago. They see nine is low. Once again, a refresh. BKB, he turns, and once again, the life steal keeps him alive. Now the spear forward. Dark Mago pinned to the trees. Tundra looking to he be able to no throw buy. up the game, and Tun Dark Mago will not be able to come back in this fight. Three dead with no buyback, and now it's just left with a brewmaster and a chaos knight. They've held and held and held, but can they possibly stop all of this? Even if he buys back, there are no more primal splits left. Thunder have to call Tundra finally forced out the submission at 64 minutes and 25 seconds. I mean, what is there even to say about that last fight? At that point, Dota is just such a mess. I do favor Tundra's draft. I think it's a well-rounded draft overall. They have like their times like they can play relatively early on. They can think about stacks in the jungle because they ah. have a mag lineup, right? And Pandabu, yeah. he's already thinking about it in this upper jungle, getting contested by Soxa. So oh, they're gonna go for it. I could do toss up in the air nice into combo. the arrow. A beautiful combination. Matthew will snag the last hit for the first blood. Skeeter's gonna get zoned off a little bit of waves, and it will be XP for Bane. Who, if there's one support who can use it in this game, it's him. His life's gonna be hard dealing with Monkey and Lycan. Dark Mago, he's made the call. Just push the lane in, and Saker does just that. They're going to be able to find Snaking at first. They toss it back into a nice Sandstorm Burrow Strike. Oh, That's going to get the initial kill, but Nine is here now. He's going to catch up. Dark Mago, ooh, nice little sidestep. He tries to do it again, doesn't quite land. Nine, he's going to catch up to him eventually here. They need a little bit more damage to finish off Dark Mago. They do get that, but a two-man Burrow Strike leads into Skeeter getting quite low as Matthew's going to commit. Arrow, oh, not quite there. He leaps in now. Mini Stun goes out. The arrow tanked up by the... the nine pango and they live and he gets a bottle refill and a healing sound so skeeter can stay in lane and nine continues to be active on the map great play by tundra i mean it's more just mag gets the free farm right it's going to be hard to punish him especially when they're just pulling waves to neutralize the early levels and now his first ult here Yep, using the wolves, not actually using one of the wolves to wake himself up instead letting the wolves feast on the pain they'll catch up to him eventually Cause did get to clear out some of those stacks, so at least some saving grace there. And on mid, another combination, another avalanche, arrow toss, and the final swing from Dark Mago seals the deal. And the rune here. That's a DD for Matthew. I mean, you gotta his, do what you gotta do. His current net worth is 1.4k, so it really says a lot about how many consumables he's bought. They did just get a lot of damage on the mid tower. No! No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, they are all definitely laughing about it. I mean, he's not laughing about it because he knows he's a beast, but I, mean, I was thinking to use these wolves to scout, but that's the next level play right there. Get the kill, get the ancient from across the map. Dark Mago, they're going to go for this with the Mortimer's Kisses. That's why he actually kicked him to the other side of that river cliff area. He's trying to draw the kisses right now, but he cannot dodge the ball. This is a disastrous minute and a half here for Thunder, losing your tiny with the rune. But like I said, decent amount of gold going 33's way, and they're going to try and smoke and shut him down off the back of this blink. Sacred, he's looking for it. They're going to find him. You can block the arrow. Three. Welcome back, everybody, to sunny Stockholm. That's right, it actually is sunny today, and we are going to get right back into the game because we have already unpaused, and 33 is indeed dead. There was a response from Tundra, but uh, 9 wasn't able to hit quite enough. Oh, looks like I mid lane. Oh, wow, three-man burrow strike from Sacred. Woohoo, that was nice and pretty. Saves Dark Mago's life. Dark Mago. Got another combo. Not slowing down. Does have a combo. Arrow. Does have an arrow. The arrow this is slightly off the mark, though. And Dark Mago's now in trouble. The cookie's going to land on him, and he's dead. Oh, dear. Some over aggression from Thunder. An opportunity to be able to respond in force, in fact, as they have the blink dagger. It's go time. And they have the smoke. And all this time, remember, Picasso is going to be farming. So if these moves work and connect for Thunder, they're super happy about it. He's not dying to wolves anymore. And Dark Mago looking for the jump. Oh, arrow a blind arrow that snags the Pangolier. He gets a cookie, Double but that just leads again. into a two-man pearl from Sacred. A beautiful setup from Thunder. What a what a play from Matthew. I mean, how much vision did he have of that situation? I don't think he had any. Uh, he's just maybe scouting for the monkey in the trees as well, but definitely works out. And then 
Oh, when they even bigger kill, perhaps. 33. Now, they had a hard time Austin finishing off, but the arrow was here. And that secures the last hit. Back-to-back -back plays here from Thunder as they start kicking up That's the momentum even more. even more. They're going to be able to find the snap fire, and uh, there is no arrow. But there is a star storm, a thrown tree. And Matthew now throws out the arrow. Doesn't quite land. Sox is here. Actually does lay a lot of damage Before to leave. Matthew. Matthew has used all his leap charges. And there's the Pango behind him as well. Now the Mortimer's Kisses get laid down. They actually do get a nice toss avalanche combination. But that's it from Dark Mago. And he cannot help Sacred any further. Peter's here to clean up the supports. He is. He's going to be able to find Panta. Because and Dark Mago will still in Let's the have neighborhood. Let's here on Mag. He does. Is he going to go for some sort of... He, uh, he was thinking about it, I think, at yeah. some point. I mean, can Thunder even deal with this creep? It's just... <laughs> the mid tower is just going to die from this golem. This golem's a beast, but... Hey, they glyph it. They're going to throw all their spells at it. That's going to be 250 gold going their way. But if it wasn't for the glyph, I think it would have died. Cookie Wolf caught the bane. Oh, that's a cute play. That does just pick off the support. Oh, two-man two RP. Man RP. Can he skewer this in? The they found the bro strike ready to go. The cookie actually gets knight out of there. The toss back in onto Snake King, though. They've already finished off the Pango. Now they try and catch up to, to Snake King. Dark Mago needs some help, though. Matthew looks to run over to help him out. Looks like the TP out was successful from Snake King. But still, that was, uh, it almost was picture perfect there in the We're combination. Getting more. Wait, what? 33? Got greedy, started farming his way backwards here. Next to Skeeter. Skeeter lays out the Eclipse and does manage to get that one kill. But now the two spiders, though. the big tanky boys, they're here. An avalanche stun combination ready to go in just one more second. But the cookie's going to come in. They do get the toss forward. The avalanche as well, catching up to Skeeter. One more hit, and there it is. Dark Mongo finishes him up. He can get hit by the caustic finale bop, and there is, he does doesn't even need the burrow strike. He finished them off with a just good old rundown of the shard. It is, and it's it's very fast paced for the Thunder, which has been their kind of style. I mean, we we uh, together have talked about this team, and uh, and I think we both kind of agreed that they're like the fastest play style of uh, perhaps all the teams here at this major, and we're going to see that pace continue as they get the pick off on nine in the mid lane. Can't even get any analysis out for this team. It's just kill after kill. You show you're getting slept. You're getting burrowed. Yeah. Something's happening. They saw socks in the jungle. Sacred instant TP Shut up Shut up, here. SVG. It's time for more kills. As Doxa is going to be spotted by Sacred. And uh, they slow him down with the Cosmic Finale. The constant shards going off. He can't escape. You're right. No analysis required. Just good old-fashioned aggression. Well, we've been talking. Tundra with another smoke on their triangle not going anywhere with it i feel like this is very rare for this team <laughs> oh sacred he's chasing after this monkey couldn't quite catch him but the rest of thunder oh they're going in real deep for this one dark mago dark he mago them all he sees the 33 like and toss them back into the rest of the team the rest of the team got stunned up though and dark mago's now in the middle of nowhere with no help from the rest of thunder they do have sacred coming in with the two-man burrow strike the rp on top and they pop Soxa's gonna get caught by the Fiend's Grip as well. The dragon tries to kill Panda, but it's not good enough. Another well-executed play from Thunder. Because has gotten to play what he wanted to have this mag look like for the last five minutes here, and mm -hmm. you can see he has pulled decently ahead of this Luna. This is where you want to be. Level 20, the extra skewer range. AC, he he's still going for the Horn Toss as well, which perhaps, I mean, that is certainly a good, like, BKB opportunity ever since they nerfed that. Burrow's trying to get some distance here. Self yules and see if he can get the blink away. But no burn blink. damage of the Snapfire Kisses. There's an RP coming. Him, but at the same time, Dark Mago, he tried to get into the back line, but actually getting destroyed. The RP goes down inside the Wukong's command. Both the Pango as well as the Monkey are low. Pekaz is able to finish off at least the Pango, but the rest of his team, they are getting run down by the combination of the Lycan and the Luna. The arrow goes down, doesn't stop anything. It doesn't stop Skeeter. Nice use of the cookie onto the Wolf. That's going to be able to catch him. Two because Matthew, last one left alive, will manage to escape with the leaps. Chunked by Skeeter on the back end with the Lycan buffs. Because he has a decent fight here. RP, Grip killing this Pango. That's a huge blow. It means this Luna gets to catch up. Suddenly she has an Aegis. She can frontline a bit more in these fights or at least not be worried about getting skewered back with the BKB up. And if that last team fight was a confidence booster for Tundra, and now they've got two more BKBs to add to the mix. They have got to be feeling really good 
about any team fight they take that it's is an back, RP. Again, and nice he's back. Skeeter does have that Aegis, but Kaz looking to be able to stop Soxa from getting off his ultimate. Meanwhile, a Burrow Strike backwards. You can see Thunder, two man RP. RP, but Kaz commits to be able to kill some of the supports here, but the Sapphire's too tanky, but Kaz is then a little bit too deep. The arrow doesn't hit anything. That's a BK beat up. Monkey King, the roll on through, nails nice sacred. Sleep. He does manage to use the Burrow Strike after the sleep to be able to get some distance and oh. a blink out. He gets away. Thunder. Have they gotten everybody out? A defensive blink once again from Pakaz. Now they're looking to be able to go back in nine. He's not going to be hit by the arrow. A small little shield crash gets him enough distance. Sacred is still looking for more, though. A blink up in a second. Is he going to commit? He will. Blink forward. Burrow strike. Immediately a cookie gets him out of the sandstorm area, but he's still going to be caught by Dark Maga. A beautiful exchange there from Thunder. The offensive action, not the most inspiring. And that is impressive without an Aghanim Scepter, Marana. You know, like his farm is pretty insane. Oh yeah. Without that item, and it looks like he may be going back into it. Skeeter actually spawning Matthew. They're gonna go for Skeeter though. See if they can change something during this avalanche time. They do Still hit him with the Aegis. arrow. That is gonna be the first life of the Aegis though. So Thunder don't wanna overcommit here. Moonlight Shadow first doesn't quite go off. The Fiend's Grip does go down. Soxa, he's gonna jump into the fight with the Kisses and the Wukong's command. They're gonna quickly deal with Panda if possible. He gets a defense sleep off, but he's still dead. The rest of the heroes are trying to reset, including Sacred. Once again, self fuels trying Still to get RP out. Here. They do have a cause, ready to go with the blink in RP possibilities, but more and more heroes of Thunder are getting picked off. Now they turn, seeing an opportunity perhaps is an overextension from nine. Yes, he gets mowed down without an ultimate needed whatsoever. And 33, whose ultimate is down. Sure, Pakaz is very happy about getting Titan Sliver on this mag. Oh yeah, that's a dream. Just makes him so tanky at this point in the game. 3,000 HP full. Now they're going to try and pulling Thunder onto him here. Nine. They want to keep this chain stun. So the cookie comes in. Double now they're rolling Thunder back in. Two man Burrow. They still have the Monkey King stun. They are chaining it really nicely with Bakaz, and he's just dead. Hundred is zeroed out with a beautiful chain stun by Tundra. And they're going to be able to maybe get the Saiyan King. And they've taken the bottom tier two. Hell. They're even going to get some damage onto the tier three. Sand King is Moonlight Shadowed. Oh, no. We walked back to the tier three. He might have been okay there. He might have. He just held cool and stayed still. And of the Blinken skewer back into a Fiend's Grip. So you're so far on your side of the map. Oh, yeah. It's hard to stop that Fiend's Grip. We haven't really seen Bakaz using those skewers that offensively yet. It's harder on one position, Mag, right? Because yeah. he has to think about his positioning a lot more. But... The Blink Dagger, they're going to find the initiation on Dark Mago. Stun. He is getting chain stunned. This is time for the Wukong's man to come out. The kisses as well. They get the Force Tap, but it's not going to save him. I think it's going to put both uh, these heroes in some trouble. They use the Fiend's Grip now, but the BKB from nine, they do have enough to be able to get Saker to blink away. Matthew is also one Bacaz lead out. Still waiting. Bakaz is waiting for his opportunity, but honestly, I feel like this may need to be a full-out retreat as nine is still chasing after Pandamu. Matthew, he gets the successful TP out before the Lucent Beam lands. Bakaz may have to just abandon Panda at this point in time, because if he doesn't, he may get caught as well. Sox He's got a skewer giving him five. no room here, though. Does not want this mag to be able to walk away, but... We saw Matthew try and bail him out, but then he got stunned on the back end as well. So that's another Roshan going Tundra's way. I mean, he'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of these heroes late game if he gets the items. Gonna go for an Arcane Blink again. Seeing a lot of these Arcane Blinks for Chaos Knight has been the most notable one. Found the Luna. They did, but Force Staff gets Skeeter out of there just in time. He's going to turn around Satanic back up to full health. Rolling Thunder goes, does go down, spotted a lot of supports, but the Moonlight Shadows protect the back now. The Dark Mago, Bakaz in some trouble. He gets off the BKB and the Fiend's Grip used on the ball. Bakaz doesn't want to hit it though. He's a little bit low and doesn't want to challenge Skeeter. So it looks like a full reset out. Monkey from Thunder. The tiny. Dark Mago trying to go back in. Sees 33 is a little bit low. The BKB, meanwhile, RP going down. Nine chasing after this uh, Marana does manage to finish him up. And Bakaz, well, he does have the Avalanche, but it's Dodge. A shield crash over to the side. But a Burrow Strike oh, hangs up to the so Pango, tanky. and he does manage to finish him off. Panda Moo, meanwhile, barely lives through it all. It's going Satanic to try and match the sustainability here, and that means this Butterfly on Skeeter is going to have a decent free reign. Silver Edge for Dark Mago, and they do see him. They're going to get off the Wukong's command with the Rolling Thunder and the Chainstone of the Cookie as well. Sacred's going to try and respond with an Epicenter Bro Strike, but into what, my friend? They are Golden Gods. You can't touch that. And now that's a dieback. 
There goes that Aegis. One Lady Barracks down. Tundra. I think likely to continue. Why not go for the full three at this point? The still the same two heroes are gone. Force this out of Thunder. Force them to try. That's it, Tundra. They're gonna keep going. Now, Ancient because Thunderhide buffing the Luna even more too. Oh, with the frenzy going out, he's attacking so quickly. Are they seriously not gonna try and hold out against this mega as the glyph is used? Cause is smoked. He smoked, wrapping around the get side the here. Let's manage to get the skewer back into the tier four. He's trying to get the RP stopped. Actually hit by the monkey king. Stun into the rolling thunder. He's eventually gonna get it off, but the eclipse is down. His BKB the goes out. Misses. No, but the butterfly misses are causing some issues, but the arrow lands right on point. They hold, but the buildings were not. That is going to be Megas for Tundra, regardless of the loss of their carry, regardless of anybody else who gets caught. Ultimately, it's Tundra now in a fantastic winning position. Go Throne? They have double damage on Mago. I mean, they do, but Tundra at the same time does have buyback on both of those heroes. They're going to go for a three-man's token. Tiny hits pretty defense. hard, though. He is demolishing buildings one by one. A absolute wrecking ball. They are powering up level 25 on both of them, so that's multiple tosses and almost five-second RP stun. You get caught in these spells, you're dying. I don't care who you are. Super interesting. You saw that 33 had a Yule Scepter? Yeah. He's... Did you mention that? I didn't, but potential Wind Waker on the horizon. But Arrow Strike Arrow. Thunder just Cookie wanted to take him it. out of the pit. Because looking for an opening here, the Avalanche follows up on that stun because he really oh, missed it. No! He got hit by a dust that stopped his blink. Disaster is no RP to be found. Dark Mago has committed to a fight that he has no help with. And now a BKB TP out. Sacred, they're actually going to turn. Go for Luna. Horn toss. He pops the Manta. He's going to pop the Satanic too. Disarm. And they get the Disarm as well. And because, oh no, raining down the, the Moonlight. Disaster for Thunder as they cannot handle the firepower of Tundra without that RP. I think he got dusted. Because there were inches. moonlight shadowed, and I think the dust damage might have awesome. come in. The littlest items make the biggest difference. Flying in dust here at 47 minutes. A single dust for this Pangolier. They know it's really only thunder. Uh, moonlight shadow and blink initiations. That's really their only way to be able to set up the right kind of team fight with no because Magnus Tundra looking to end the game here. 33. Leads out with his BKB Wolf. They see Panda. He's quite low. He's dead, but does have a buyback. The Mortimer's Kiss is catching the Marana as well. Has plenty of team fight items. An early good kill there. No buyback either. An early glyph being used. Dark Mago starts laying some damage into Luna, but has to retreat. Cause up in seven. No BKB up. But cause up in a bit. But he doesn't have the RP just yet. Throne exposed. They're going to commit Sasha to it. Sasha. Sasha. He pops the Wukong's command. They start laying into the He's throne. And that is it. Game two goes to Tundra as they finish it off in style here locking down the game in a late game push once again they prove to be the absolute giants of the stockholm major only dropping one game in the groups one game so far in the playoffs